there. Welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box and they have a link so check that out and if you like this video hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos come out hit that notification bell. Okay I'm going I you can see I've been painting. I'm going to go really uh, bland here for a second. Um, don't know how these two, they look good paper-wise together. Let's see how they blow out. Um, so let's, let's just get to it. What I'm going to be using, at least for now, is my Revlon. Um, I'm going to make hopefully some wispy petals. Then, <clears throat> depending on what I choose to do, let me go ahead and show you before we get started. Okay, this guy. Um, I have talked about using him down in the with the acrylics and stuff, so I brought him up to use. This is the master. I'll be using this, I think, toward the end, unless I just changed my mind. And this is the, <clears throat> I call him the big guy. His, this is the model TC320. My link is in the description to this. This one comes with a dial, so you can adjust and know where you're at. And when you hit the button, all my cords are here. You can see it's about 38. And then I can run it down to about 30. Now that's the sound it makes. This is what it sounds like. On the floor on the carpet now it's gonna blow a whole lot harder than my little guy and this is master also and it's got a dial it just doesn't have numbers and the noise it makes is this that's it on the floor on carpet now, the best I can figure is the PSI's on the little guy is around 15 to 25, something like that. Um, I will have to say it does everything I need to do. You want to play and do a little more extreme stuff. And the other one's nice. <clears throat> and I do like it. And I use it a lot just with the noise factor. I tend to use the little one. But this one will go higher. I have had it up to 40 playing with it. I know you can go higher. I know some people have talked about doing more. So just keep that in mind as far as what you're wanting to use it for. Now, price-wise, as of December 2020, uh, we're looking at in the 50s for the little one, in the 80s or 90s for the big one. The big one will do everything that the little one can do and more. The little one's a little limited compared to the big one. But it also depends on what your price point is and what you're wanting for. Okay, there's that information. I have a lot of people asking me about those. Alright, so let's, let's get going and see how this turns out. I, I, I don't even know. I'm kind of wanting to do a little flower, maybe a bud or something. I don't know. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to start and see where it takes me. Now I haven't worked with alcohol in a while. Uh, cause I, I mean, I say that in a while. I like this where you have to blow it around. Typically, I use the Blanca Blanco. I like the effect of it. I like how it plays. And let me get the cord undone. And uh, so, I have to say, I may be a little rusty on this.
now let me just say for those starting out, find what you're good at. Find what you like doing. I've never been good at this. I'm just saying, I've done this for a year and a half. And my wispy lacks terribly. So as a result, I don't enjoy it as much. I like the looks of it. I love looking at other people's stuff, but I don't do it well. I spent the first four months trying to do wispy, and I said, forget this mess. I'll do something else. So I started doing other things and realized that's the stuff I got. I understood it. It's in my head. I, I like it. That's what I do. And those are the things I do well. So don't get hung up because you can't do one technique. Try all the techniques. Learn as much as you can. I can mush through this. I'll just say I can mush through it. But some people do absolutely beautiful work and I can't do it. But I found something I can do. I found something I liked. I became good at that. So don't give up. What did I just use? Don't give up. Find your find your your spot. You've got a spot. You just need to find it. And sometimes it's easier than others. So there you go. Don't, don't, don't give up. Because this is an absolutely incredible medium to play with. And then you start mixing it and messing with it with acrylics and watercolors. and So it's a lot of fun. And you've got, this is, this has to be the coolest group of people, I would say. Because people help. They help you. I mean, there, there are some of the leaders in this that I've contacted and whined and cried and I can't do this and, or how do you do that or what do you use on that? And they tell you it's, they're, the people are incredible in the alcohol ink world. Those two colors are likable together. Huh. So... Salmon and a uh, salmon. I don't know if you and sandal. Okay. I'm working this back and forth because I want long lines. There's a point I'm not going to get them, but right now I still have enough liquid that I can get some of the longer lines this way. This is also when you find out if your table's level. Okay, I need some more up in here. And we'll kind of go back and forth. And create some of those lines that I'm wanting. I'll scoot it to that side, scoot it to this side, and I'll get some of those long lines. Okay, I want one right there. And I didn't see that until I did that piece and
my bud right here. Like right there. I want some of this in there, but I'm mainly the paint, so I'm going to do the pink last. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> uh, I want brown stuff. I want brown. Oh, there's Bombay ink. It's in the wrong thing, but great because I want to I wanted it okay test sheet I can't tell if there's stuff in the bottom of this or not. There we go. I see bubbles. All right. So there's my two browns. That's a tough one. Um, I like that. That one, that one just goes better. Now, a little bit about Bombay inks, and I've got a video where I covered some of that. Right now, this acts like a watercolor. I can take water. I can do whatever I want to do. Once it dries, it's permanent. It, you cannot reactivate it with water. Now, <laughs> you can reactivate it with alcohol. So see, you can reactivate it. And you can play with it with alcohol. So Bombay inks are pretty cool. But I don't think we're going to use it this time. So let me get my plate. And I will try to remember to put above here um, the link to the one where I talk about Bombay inks. I've got a few of them, and I do mention them in the title, so if you just go to, you know, Scary Hair Lady, Scary Hair Lady, um, 
you can look up Bombay inks and I would think it would bring it up. I do that to get rid of the bubbles. If I repeat myself, I do a num a couple of videos at a time. Well, I don't know what I've said and what I hadn't. Oh, oh, jeez, leave that alone. I thought it was a piece of dirt. All right, <clears throat> what I am wanting to do, right now I'm going to draw my stems, and then I'm going to do the connecting part of, to the flower. So right now, let me get that pretty thin. Um, I'm holding it back because I, I really don't want to think too hard on this. That went sideways on me. So, I don't love it. But you know, I never do. I've just learned that about myself. Okay, but that's all right. Because we're going to do some more stuff down here. All right. So, at this point, I'm going to go in here. And... Use my little stylus. Where's my little stylus? Okay, I'm going to use this. I'm going to put my dryer up and get my airbrush. Dip it in the brown. I'm going to put it right here at the base. And I'm going to get about a half inch from it. And do that. I love this, and this is not my first video to do. I'm sure I'll have done the other ones first, but I'm having a blast with this. going to be really good and not do too much because I tend to overdo it because this I get too excited with this um, I've got that there I'm going to put the ones coming down and then I don't know if I want to start here and act like the center is right there and make these come out of there or just do them out here if I do them out here I mean you know the flowers not perfectly laying like that so um Let me do what I know I want to do right now. I'll come to that later. Because that looks so weird, I'm going to do a couple up into it. Also, putting it down and then like pushing it in a direction will kind of make it start heading that way. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> I may go right here and just put a center. I think that's what I want to do. And let these be the leaves. Like that. That uh, does well. I'm not loving that, but again, by the time we add stuff, you're not going to see it. Maybe. Okay. <clears throat> if we don't like it, we got the glitter glue. That is always standby. Yeah, I wish I hadn't done that. Um, not loving it. I should have left it alone. Um, but I wonder if we can fix that. Do I even want to outline this? No. I'm going to do the sandal. And just lighten it. It's still going to be there. We're just going to lighten it a little bit. I just want to put some darker ink down. Mess with the eye a little bit. See, that's what this is all about half the time. Trying and not liking and fixing.
anybody looking at this is not going to go, oh yeah, I see what you're talking about. Because you're not going to tell them. You're going to say, yep, that's exactly like I wanted it. Oh, and look, it's breaking up that a little bit, so we win. Yay. All right. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> I want to do some of this down here. Actually, I need to do this. You know, I'm curious. If this will take that off. Okay. We're taking that off. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Nice. We'll just redo it just like we just did. Add some of that back in. Awesome. Fabulous. I'm so excited. <clears throat> okay. Problem solved. <clears throat> okay, back to this. I'm going to take, I want just a little bit, kind of like we did here. But this time I'm going to, um, let's do one right here. Okay, I think I want to water this down a little bit. No, no water down a little bit. Makes it too light. Okay. 
Okay, what I'm doing to make it do better like that is I get it and I just hit first it and force it to go into, you know, one, two, or three, or four, or something like that, little channels. Then I start doing that. Let's see if I can do it again. I'm right up to it. This is definitely a play thing, though. Oh, I don't have anything on that one. Okay, squinting my eyes <clears throat> at this. There needs to be something like right here. To even that out. I, I know. Stop. But I don't want to. I want something right there. There. I think I'm going to be done. I do want to splatter just because it's a lot of white so i'm going to splatter like here like it's coming out of the flower and down in here a little bit now when i splatter i try because i've, I've realized it'll it looks funny I'm gonna put my brush parallel to where I'm wanting to go if I did it like this it might do a line of dots that are gonna look funny so I'm just gonna just that water. Try and get it up. There we go. <clears throat> now, there's that. I'm 
we'll do some on that like that now what I think I'm going to do is I would love to have some of that color here but being alcohol ink it's going to land different so I need to see why Henry um, I need to see if I've got something that will possibly coordinate. That may be. I think it'll be close enough by the time... It's a dot. I mean, that's close to that. Oh, that's weird. I'm, I love that. I love it when I do those things. Okay. That is it. That is it. Wow. Not colors that I typically use, but I am liking this. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks for joining me. And y'all go have fun.